We've heard about vacant homes ending up being sold at tax or scavenger sales. So often people just walked away from those properties, but that's not always the case. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov found one woman who did everything she could to keep her family's house, but lost it anyway. They removed the uh, aluminum siding. Barbara Watson still can't believe what vandals have done to this house in Inglewood she's owned for almost 20 years. They bust the walls and took the copper pipes out. It was her mother's house, the realization of her American dream in 1980. She was you know, happy to finally have something that she owned because she had rented for years. After her mother died in 2003, Watson took ownership of it. Her disabled brother lived there for a while, then no one did, while Watson scraped money together to try and fix it up. So I was just trying to hold on to it over the years, paying, you no know, mortgage, paying taxes, you know, doing upkeep, doing repairs. I saw her firsthand put this stuff in here, these new appliances, the piping, all of these things, the water heater, furnace of help, and people keep coming and stealing things. They came in, they took the cabinets and sinks out, refrigerated out, they took the stove out. It's like every time she gets close to improving the situation, something else happens. It was a vicious cycle, all the while draining Watson's bank account. She fell behind on her property taxes and says she went to the county treasurer, assessor, her aldermen and community groups for help. I'm not asking for a handout, I'm asking for loans. One fight involved her property tax assessment. It stayed the same even after she told the assessor her house had been repeatedly vandalized. But in February, the house her mother cherished was sold at the Cook County Treasurer scavenger sale for $1,200. A spokesperson for the Cook County Treasurer says she'll need to pay more than $6,800 in unpaid taxes to get it back, plus interest. If I could do something to help bring this house back to what it used to be like, I would like to do that. If I could do something to help people in the area, I would like to do that. And when you look at the African American community, not a lot of us have property. We don't have things like that to pass down to our, to our children. So I respect my mom and I love my mom and I admire my mom that she's thinking ahead. But the 61 year old doesn't know if she'll be able to raise that money she's going to try. You need to stop making this process so hard for those who are making minimum wage, but they're still trying to keep their homes. They're trying to maintain those homes. So I think much more needs to be done there. Since we began making calls, we've learned the Cook County Assessor lowered Watson's assessment and issued certificates of error for her 2017 to 2020 property taxes. It means she'll get a refund from the treasurer for more than $3,000. Current law only allows corrections for the last four tax years. Live in the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Joe. So she still owes 3000 is that right? Well, she hasn't gotten her refund yet, and if she chooses to use that towards the 6800 she would still yeah. owe more than 3000 wow. All right, well, I hope she gets some help. That's an interesting story. Dana, thank you.